Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Oh, I had a luxurious three hours friggin' sleep. And uh, let me tell you, we had it out last night. Yeah, me and the Diamond Duel. It was like, no, I am sick of this coward in the county thing. What the heck is... And we, we, we got it all out. Turns out, He's been tricking me into being scared. Telling me that my body's doing a shutdown and protecting itself. That whole damn thing at the grocery store where I went in and turned bored because that guy got on. That was him switching me off, dude. He did that on purpose. Oh, you know what? He did something like that before. I remember I was at a laundromat one morning and uh, doing my laundry and we was just sitting there talking and he's like, dude, you know, it's been a long time since I got to drive an avatar. Do you think I could drive? I'm like, sure, if you want to. He says, cool, cool. Let's go out to the grocery store and get some coffee. Walmart, I want to drive. I haven't drove for, oh man. And he's convincing me that this is like a new thing that he really wants to get a chance to control my avatar and run out to the grocery store and get some coffee. And so we get out there and we get to the grocery store to get the coffee. And dude, I'm sitting there thinking, dude, you, you sure you can handle this? Cause you're not doing too good with my avatar. It's, it's, <coughs> I, feel, <coughs> I feel like a damn Borg, dude. <coughs> can you steer this thing? Can you drive this truck? He's like, yeah, I got this. I got this. I got this. I go into the store and I buy this cup of coffee and instead of cradling it up under my arm, man, he picks the damn thing up by the top and carries it out like a rookie. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, boy? That ain't how you carry it. I can do it. I can do it. Don't. Let, I won't drop it. Watch. I won't drop it. And we get all the way out to the truck, get in the truck, and I'm just laughing inside saying, yeah, we're going to have to work on this. We went back to the laundromat and parked and... uh Played solitaire. I played that a lot. At the laundromat. It's the only time I ever did it. The only time. Solitaire. That's my life. Anyway, he's been messing with me, boy. I, I, I tell you. I am just fine to go out there. Because that's what we was talking about as the night we got on. And I, you know, I started snap into this okay hold on if i can walk in there and tell her i'm the last prophet who look as crazy as hell when i know i am and i got no problems you know what the hell come on boss tell me what's up and so we we had a big discussion about it and uh it's because of script he says i can't lie to you no more boy <laughs> You just got to stay damn put. That's all there's to it. I know you want to get out there, but you can't. So I can't even go do the chit chat thing. Is what he's telling me. He says you got to stay put, and uh, he's running out of tricks to keep me in this damn bunker. Is what it's boiled down to, people. But uh, I'm still gonna go out there. I got to get a couple things. I really do, and. Uh, you just have to let me pass, he says. And uh, we're going to forget the Coward of the County program, though. And I am going to smile at people. And I am going to say hello. And I am going to just let myself fly as I am. He ain't going to have no more of them damn Jedi things going down. So feel free to be bubbly, all right? Damn it. He made me feel like I was a... Oh. You know, he has been doing that to me for a long time, people. Don't tell me God can't like, God can pivot like a, like never ending. He's been pivoting left and right to me to get me to do what he wanted. And, uh, and I still am going to do what he wants me to do. And, uh, that boils down to, yes, I just got to, uh, Stick to this program. Now, it doesn't mean that that 23rd is the day I go out there. No. He's saying that this Sunday is pretty big and important. And see, part of the deal is, it's easy for him to sit there and take the 
the fun out of it and give me all the plans and uh, and go through the whole script with me. But then where's the treat for me? He doesn't want to ruin my surprise. And to have to admit, I, I do like this stuff. I mean, like I said, there's things that come out of my mouth we didn't even talk about. And it comes out while we're in the middle of our, <laughs> our little clouds. <coughs> so, yeah. I'm cool with trusting him and knowing that he's got this down and he does know exactly what he wants. And uh, so, and I am going to have, uh, after Sunday, start watching the news there on your YouTube. He will let me start doing that. See, he's keeping me a very strict diet of what I can see of the outside world. Um, that's why I haven't been able to cruise Google or... Um, I got an authorization to check the weather channel the other night, and that's about it. Um, it's about keeping this uh, script of his going. Because he knows exactly how I act and feel and speak. And, uh, you know, how my emotions react to what I have to say. Because this profit thing is uh, is difficult for him, too, he says. He says it's not easy steering someone on on uh, this profit program. And so that's why I've always had this, as this time has gone, I've had a steady diet of what I could watch because he didn't want the outside world influencing my, uh, my moods, my uh, train of thoughts, because he has to get my train of thoughts on his tracks. And so therefore that's why uh, it is what it is. And so anyway, yeah, did it till like four something in the morning and uh, I just gave up and I'm like, okay, fair enough. That's it. I had enough. I'm ready to go to bed and uh, laid down and poof, I was out finally because about 2.30, I was giving up, turned the light on, went and got enough of the co coffee and and uh, I thought, oh my gosh, it's going to be another all-nighter. Almost was. But uh, turns out after I surrendered, he let me go. He let me go to sleep. So y'all don't realize, I guess maybe I am hard-headed. Yeah. That might be what the problem here is here. Uh, well, I got to be his number one. It's not my vision. It's his. So uh, I got to make sure I'm doing what he wants. And so, yes, I will get, uh, you guys, remember I told you, you guys would get to come in and do me some briefings and stuff. Well, come Sunday, uh, World News and all those things that posted on your thing. Yeah, I get to say, I get to, that's uh, me connecting with the world. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what he wants. And so I got a few lessons this morning. Um, I do have to run out and get some cigarettes and, uh, oh, I might do that soon because, uh, you know what? He's telling me I can get those little biscuits thing at Burger King and, uh, they would, uh, yeah, I might, I might be out there here in just a little bit. Okay. And then, well, no, I gotta get a shower, you know, <sighs> Dilemmas, dilemmas, dilemmas. I do not know what I'm doing. Uh, and I got my lessons. I, I'm going to drink my coffee and have another cigarette and, and a couple songs and work this itinerary out. I just had to tell you guys what we, the late night powwow was all about. Yeah, I'm not a damn coward of the county. He's been making me to be that. When that trick he pulled on me at that grocery store. Boy, he just turned me off and I just walked out of that store. Just like I did at that Walmart that day with that cup of that thing of coffee. Man, that was the weirdest feeling. Here I'm walking out of a Walmart with a thing of coffee in my hands like I'm palming a basketball. <sighs> Boy, you guys just do not know what he has put me through. 
It's been a long, long time with Father here. Boy, I'll be glad when it's all over. Oh, I hope it gets over. Oh, I sure hope he ain't going to have me palm and Folgers off the Walmarts after this. I don't know. I just found out I got to stay up all Christmas Eve. No, he says you can't sleep through that. You got to stay up. You got to be up on Christmas Eve. Oh, really? Why can't I just sleep it off and then when I wake up, everything's fixed? No, son. It's going to be kind of a moment. So I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I got to show up for Christmas Mass and, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's too far in the future for me. I, I just know I want to have some coffee and cigarettes and maybe go get a breakfast. I don't know about that breakfast thing. I got to get a shower and I got to get a cigarette. I don't know. I don't know. I'll be back. Dilemmas.